And so you have to live a certain way. You got to get a certain amount of points. I got five to eliminations have just now. Love, you know, peace, joy. And then if you don't, wah, 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 like yeah. you're <laughs> fucked. And you're okay for how long? How much before forever. I can respond? Like forever. And you're like, wait, that's a long, that's a long time, you know. And I'm like, fuck, man. Um, and so I, I don't. I don't subscribe to any organized religion. I, I consider myself a spiritual person, but like, without making light or, or trying to be disrespectful, like, if the things that I tried to f um, figure out, like a like a game, like a video game, was sex, money, power, right? Like, as an artist, I had subscribed to the starving artist, like, type, right? I was like, top ramen you know holes in your clothes like like homeless <laughs> like i was like that is what a real artist is until i met a successful artist until i i was like oh shit like you can have a manager and an agent and an office and like you can like not starve and and i remember at that point i was in my early 20s i was like man people sure like talk about money a lot right like it seems to be like this thing that causes a lot of problems in marriages and business and it doesn't seem that hard to me as some and i'm saying this as a guy in my 20s that's poor i'm like what if i just like try to be as rich as possible for the next 10 years or five years like what if that's my singular focus and so i did it and it you know it was a lot of work but like the video game for of money is over for me now right mm -hmm. like i like at every industry gambling the stock market um like even like people go oh that's like this korean force gump and he just he was like this, um, like this uh, homeless guy that, <laughs> like, like got lucky with Facebook. I'm like, that was like a lot of work <laughs> to make that happen, you know. Um, and I was already kind of wealthy when I when I made that deal. But people like to tell that story. So I made millions of dollars gambling. I made millions of dollars with my art. I made millions of dollars with Facebook, and it, it was a lot of hard work. But I'm like, it's kind of if I wanted to, you tell me how cringe I'm, I sound and I'll just stop. But I'm like, it's not going to be that hard for me to become a billionaire at a certain level, right? Like I've amassed hundreds of millions. I'm like, if that's my goal now, if that's my video game, and then I know billionaires. I mean, Sean Parker and Mark being the most, but I know tons of like secret billionaires, right? And I go, I don't want any of their lives. I don't want. Right. I don't want any like. Yeah, I but like, it's just money. You don't have to have their life, right? To and, to have money, right? And you don't have to think about money if you have it, right? The the problem with money is be, people become obsessed with it because it's so difficult to attain, <clears throat> and there's so much societal value right. put on being wealthy, right? That it becomes the thing instead of a thing. I mean, I have, I have a friend that has like hundreds of billions of dollars and hundreds of billions? hundreds of billions like one of the you know i have one too <laughs> yeah and you you know how weird those guys are right They're weird guys <laughs> and and i'm pretty close with them he's not just like a you know and i said we we're having dinner and i was like feeling confident i was like give me one he's like what i was like give me one one he's billion like, and he's like well, i don't understand <laughs> yeah i was like give me one billion and he's like <laughs> I was like, motherfucker, you know I don't need it. Like, you know I'm not gonna go buy cars and houses. He's like, what do you want to, what do you want to do with that? He's like, Dave, I don't know if you know how money works. You don't just go up to someone and ask them for a billion. I go, motherfucker, I just did. And he's like, well, do you have a plan? Are you gonna show me charts and graphs? I was like, no, it's all gonna be instinct. I will take that one billion. And he's like, dude, you gotta come to me with like, I'm not saying no, but you gotta have a better, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta have like, how are you gonna? I go. I promise you, I will spend it like, like the most irresponsible possible. Like it'll be like exactly because most of these people that have billions are like geniuses and they spend everything is down to a fraction and they they just grind and crunch numbers in their brain and that's not how I think. I think very abstract. I think and I go, I'm gonna do stuff that on paper makes absolutely no sense and I promise you I will change the planet with that money. Like I'm gonna do shit that, and then he was like. He was he didn't say no, but he was thinking it over and he's like, dude, there's like there's no way like my money guys are gonna do this. And then I sat there and I thought about it, because money is power. I was like, dude, I don't want a billion dollars. I don't want that responsibility. And ultimately he was like, eh, no. And I was like, thank you. So it was just it, a wild thought. 
yeah. spontaneous. Yeah, if he had given it to me, he would have. He would have fucked. I would have been like those weird people. I was like, eh, I don't want to touch that. I don't want to touch you that. You would have tried it out for a while. Right. You would have tried it out for a while, and then you would have gone back to being you. Right, and then so, so that has that game of that video game of money has no mm-hmm. no. Um, it's not fun for me anymore because I've I've so years ago like. 2009 was my last art show where I actually sold stuff for money and uh and I didn't feel good it was like the my gallery Steve Lazaridis is like Banksy's Banksy's uh guy and he's like Cho like you're on fire street art's on fire right now like what do you want to do I go it's gonna be in LA it has to be in LA it has to be on Rodeo Drive like it has to be on the most expensive street in the world and I want like every celebrity there and like, you know, and so it did, it happened. It was like, it was a show in Beverly Hills. All the celebrities came, all the fancy people came. I sold all the art and the next day I didn't feel any different. And and then at that point, the artist gets objectified to like, just, I got a Basquiat, I got a Cho, I got a.
Thank <laughs> you. 